Hi, I'm Rade, and I'm going to talk to you about being a third culture kid. So I grew up in Jamaica, and I've lived in Miami, London, New York, Hong Kong, and Singapore. I have a very diverse background, but I'm really grateful for it. I've been fortunate enough to be exposed to many different cultures at a very early age. First of all, let's understand what a third culture kid is. A third culture kid is someone that's grown up outside their parents' origin of culture. Sorry. So my parents are Indian, but have decided to live in Jamaica through multiple reasons. I won't really go into that right now. But a few defining principles that have guided my life and my career today. Jamaica's national motto is out of many one people. This has played a significant role in me understanding the many different cultures, races, and religions that make up this world. At the end of the day, we're all humans, hence humanity. And having this perspective, growing up in a country like Jamaica, has allowed me to be exposed to both vast amounts of nature as well as be humble because many people don't have very fortunate upbringings. You can also see the laser light show happening behind me. Sorry, I digress. Anyways, back to Jamaica. So out of many month people has played a significant role in my entire journey, wherever I've lived. Miami taught me about um, Spanish culture and London taught me about history. Hong Kong also taught me about history, especially when it came to China. And Singapore has taught me a lot about food and equality. They also have a very diverse melting pot. But throughout all these travels and living in these multiple places, in my career, I've been able to be mobile. So Packing and getting on a plane comes very easily. It's actually too easy. I probably was traveling before I was walking when I think of it and the stories that my parents tell me. Most of my years growing up were spent in three different continents. So most of the school year was spent between Jamaica and the US. And then summers were reserved for Europe and India or Asia. So since I've known it, I've always spent a third of my life in each of these three places, as I like to think of it. At work, it allows me to have a very unique perspective when it comes to cultural relations. I'm able to build a very diverse team, understanding the differences of Eastern and Western cultures. I think when they come together, there's great things that can happen, especially when you understand the culture and, and the people that you're dealing with. It's also helped me to be very flexible and learn extreme patience. When you travel a lot, you never know what's gonna happen and you just have to be able to maneuver within yourself and learn to, to not take yourself so seriously. Anything can happen. It's also allowed me to be very curious in food, in the people that I've, meet, I've met, and just appreciate the small things. Any little task at work, even though it may seem small, is actually a step further to where the project needs to be. I work in a very challenging and intense industry of digital marketing. Today, everything is digital and technology is influencing many industries that we operate today. And through my experience of living in many de demographics, I'm able to work on global clients and understand both the global and local nuances that they face as a business, as well as the teams that I'm working on to complete these projects. This is my story and a little insight into what it's like to be a third culture kid.